Hello, this is Freya and say hi, and this is our video tour of Privacy Quest. We will give a brief recap on project goals and then we'll head straight into demo and findings. So just a brief recap, we are measuring the level, we are trying to measure the level of awareness among users about privacy policies. We are trying to also define a criteria which will help better um, like summarize privacy in apps for users, and also how this will impact user behavior after they've taken the test and then they assess their awareness. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. The game starts off with just your apps. So we have a wide variety of category apps, such as social media, shopping, um, health, note-taking, entertainment, and games. Once you've finished assessing all of these apps, you can go on to the next step, which lists your phone. And on each app, there's a scenario that could arise. So for instance, let's take a look into Instagram. In Instagram, you're just scrolling through your posts until your friend Alex sends you a message saying, thought you loved this. And it's a post about high yogurt, which is a new brand that's opening up uh, at the bottom of Res One Laura. And you find it pretty cool. So you uh, share this post with a few more of your friends because you really want to check it out later sometime. You can also see at the bottom, there is a privacy group criteria that we uh, implemented earlier, which will help you in the quiz section, which is part three of how you might want to figure out the culprit app. There's also a link to the Instagram privacy policy at the bottom. Once you're done, um, Actually, by the way, there are many stories on here and many scenarios on each app. So we encourage the audience to really explore the apps and the uniqueness of each one and what they have to offer. So once you're ready, uh, you can start answering the quiz and the privacy test. So for instance, in this one, we see that HiYogurt uh, sent you an email, even though you did not give them your email at all. So then in this, in this instance, since we reviewed Instagram, we know that it's definitely Instagram, which sort of shared your information. So we can click that for now. And we also see that you begin receiving posts focusing on people complaining about their teachers. So that could also relate to Notion because you tend to log a lot of what happens in Notion, right? And in this one, since we didn't really scroll through too many apps, we're just gonna guess and guess Ada, for instance. Once you're done with the quiz, you can go on to the next step, which shows a summary of how you did. So you can see there's a score of 29% and the, you can share your thoughts of how you thought this was. And it shows you what you did right, the explanation and also what you did wrong and also the explanation. So all the responses and quizzes are logged into Firebase, where we have really compiled our findings over here with over 63 responses. Um, but before we go into our findings, I'm going to first pass it off to Freya to showcase our findings regarding research and on our data privacy. A notable example that we wanted to point out is the, the FTC's historical settlement on Facebook. So in 2019, the FTC fined Facebook $5 billion for privacy violations, and it was the largest fine ever imposed for privacy violations. And we wanted to point this out because lar what large companies do can have a huge impact on their users, and these are uh, companies we interact with on a daily basis. So next, we have Walmart. Two Walmart customers filed a class action lawsuit, and they found out that their personal privacy was being violated because Walmart was using Facebook Pixel on their website, which is a tool that leverages cookies for advertising and analytics. And they found out that Walmart was disclosing their personal data, including their Facebook accounts and purchase information. Um, and therefore filed a lawsuit. So we wanted to highlight this because many of us may not be aware that e-commerce sites that we frequently interact with could be handling or using our data unethically. We received a total of 63 scores. The average awareness score decreased from 57.8% to 42.86% since Tuesday's presentation. Uh, one thing we were really surprised about was we sort of expected CS students to be more aware of technology and how apps use their data. And I feel like this raises concerns because the general population has less knowledge than the average CS student regarding app privacy. So this could mean that the average population is really informed on this. Out of user responses, we also found that most users found that the privacy criteria on each app page to be really useful. They further elaborated that it helped them narrow down the culprit app, which was much easier than skimming through the app's privacy policy. So this suggests that users would be more informed if App Store provided succinct and comprehensible privacy rubrics. Um, they also mentioned that they would be more conscious of the app to download in the future because of after they've taken this test. In conclusion, we believe that users should make a conscious effort to stay informed on app privacy policies. This means reading the privacy policy summaries by Google Play and Apple App Store. And this also means implementing more concise privacy criteria, which through our research and testing, users found it to be very helpful. This concludes our project and we hope that you enjoy 